Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbounced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. So let's uh, continue on with the Jewish Kazarian Horde campaign. Uh, last episode, um, Kagan Papa John, our father, finally bit the bucket. He kicked the dust and um, he got assassinated. By whom? We'll never know. Oh, right. His... Uh, Latest wife is also a potential concubinage person. Hmm. But anyways, we are currently married to our cousin, who is a military genius, if there ever was one. Probably one of the best that we've ever had in, um, in this campaign. She's also a marshal, so that's pretty cool. Uh, no children right now, but we do have some concubines, which is exciting. So we'll see where uh, where all that goes. Do they have any children? No, they don't have any children. She looks old, but I think she still has like a good 11 years of baby making. So, and we, there's way too many people in our um, realm for me to keep track of, but I guess we'll, sure, we'll disable stopping of auto, auto stop. And the reason I like to have this unchecked is actually because um, it gives me an opportunity to imprison people um, that I might not otherwise. So, it's always a nice little opportunity there. I have way too many prisoners. I honestly cannot wait for the um, next DLC or the patch to come out. Wherever. I, I don't know if it's a patch plan or a DLC. But they plan to um, kind of like a batch imprison or batch release or ransom option. And... That's gonna be kind of awesome. So let's choose a warhorse. We'll name him Dragon, obviously. And I'm trying to currently gain the just trait as well as probably ambitious. Although I guess more so ambitious than the just trait, because just trait, because I think just kind of gives you just um just just gives you stewardship. And I think vassal opinion. I could be wrong. Anyways, we're also currently at war with the Pratihara Revolt. We're trying to take over Zabulistan, the uh, duchy here, in amidst their revolt. That could be exciting. And um, there's more people coming to me with their problems, so I'll compensate them personally. And we gained diligent, excellent, very nice. See, that's what I like about this, um, the stewardship, uh, focus. A uh, peasant accused of murder is dragged before your court. His wife and children were found butchered in the small hut they called home, and he was standing nearby, covered in their blood. Despite this damning evidence, the man continues to profess his innocence. What should be done with him? The evidence is circumstantial. Let him go. No? That didn't give me just or ambitious? Okay, well. There's more feuding going on. Uh, both are acting like children. I don't care because we're gonna take all your shit anyways. Yeah, we still have a lot of like revocations to go through. <sighs> I hope they make a batch action for this as well. Although, actually no, that's a little dangerous considering that it costs you uh, prestige and whatnot every time you do a revocation. So maybe not. Although, I do wish there was an easier way to do this, like, if there was, like, a hotkey change or something that we could do, that'd be really cool, but... Barring that, it's gonna have to be manual. Then again, I'm pretty sure the developers didn't think that anyone would really try to do a, um, Horse Lord, like, world domination, but, yeah. Let's side with both. Fantastic, and that increases our stewardship. Fantastic. Wow, they have 16,000? They actually have a lot of troops. What the hell? I'm surprised, man. Holy crap. Do you actually you actually have more than the Pratihara do? That's impressive, not gonna lie. And once we have a bit more manpower, what we're going to do is... Um... 
What we're going to do is we're going to raise more troops. We're going to get lancers and horse archers. And I think lancers are unique to the Greek or Constantinople area. I could be wrong. Uh, if you could get over there, that'd be awesome. And my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. And my vassal decided to just attack him. Despite being vastly outnumbered. Don't quite know what his reasoning is with that, but you know what? Maybe he had a plan that just didn't go well whatsoever. Thankfully, we won that war, or that battle. Let's hope we win this war. Which should make the conquering of the rest of um, Asia Minor a, a cinch. 100%. There we go, fantastic. Let's take this opportunity before the revolt dies down. Awesome. Very cool. They still outnumber the uh, actual Pratihara though. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, no wait, are these guys the Rajput? No, they're the Pratihara. They're just part of the Rajput um, dynasty. Okay, I get it. Cool, cool, cool. Now, now that we're, well, while we're here, maybe we should set our sights on the, on Baluchistan and take over some lands from them. Could be interesting. Because I think this is Baluchistan. The sure Baluchistan is over there. Should we take over Persia? I'm thinking we do an invasion of Persia. Okay, someone I don't care has become a dutiful clerk. Again, emphasis on don't care. Invasion of Persia. So we'll take 50% of their lands. And next time we should be able to take that small county. Kazwin. Right now we're going after our uh, old classic favorite, Ray. Alright, let's do it. Invasion of Persia. Fantastic. It doesn't really matter if we get invaded by other um, Sunni uh, leaders because we're the most powerful force in the known world. Possibly the galaxy. Maybe not. What was that? What was that noise? I always kind of like panic when I hear that noise because it sounds very similar to the um, disgruntled Oh, you just hear a, did a tyrannical action noise So that uh, kind of concerns me Why does he have his capital in this county where there's like nothing there? Seems like a pretty bad decision there, buddy But you know what? I won't judge Because I already did Let's siege everything down should be giving us a lot of war score. Fantastic. Come on. Do it. Do it. Oh, you lost a lot of troops, but that's okay. Because we have... We, our troops are basically expendable. Don't tell them I said that, though. They uh, they might not like it. They might stop sending me, like, Christmas um, letters. Although, considering... Oh, yes! You are no longer content to rest on your laurels. The problems you face in your realm are legion. And clearly, no one can fix them but you. And so we are ambitious. Fantastic. So, then... Whenever we get the chance, and that'll be three years from now, let's change this to... I think hunting might be a good, uh, good idea. Either that or family. Make lots of babies. In the meantime, let's win this war. Invasion of Persia. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Good hustle out there. Good hustle. And we're only just adding to our vassal number. This is... May have been a bad idea. You know what? Let's go with the... Lower ranking vassals first. Get these kind of... Get these guys kind of out of the way. If we can. I don't know if we can, honestly. It's gonna be a long... Long haul. Right? Especially since there's no... Hotkey that I can use to click on, you know, right click and then if I can press hotkey to revoke, hotkey to select the first one and then just do that. Thankfully, there's a hotkey to click on the yes, but that's kind of it. Oh well. I'm sure things could be worse, which isn't really the best of reasonings, but anyways. Thankfully, all of their responses came in at once, which is fantastic. 
Good job, guys. We only need to do that like 21 more times. We have a sickly daughter, born in the purple, named Usun Bike. Um... Hmm. I'm not going to name you after any of our commenters because I don't think any of our commenters are female. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But... Anyways, yeah, fine. And whenever I get the chance, I'm actually going to change the inheritance to Absolute Cognatic. This way, if we have genius daughters, we can still have them rule. You know, and that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. And I think next we are going to set our sights not on subjugating the Hashime, no. Or should we? We could subjugate them. Or... We could even just do the invasion of Arabia, and that should cover the vast majority of their lands anyways. Including this little island here. Or should we just subjugate them? If we subjugate them... Hmm... Yeah, if we subjugate them, he'll become our vassal. Kind of annoying. Maybe we should leave our subjugation open for the Umayyads? Because they have a lot more territory than... Um, than the Hashimid do. It just looks like the Hashimid have a lot because it's a rather expansive lands, but there actually isn't that many counties in Arabia. Yeah, see, there's only like six duchies. Never mind. Okay, never mind. So it's a little bit more than I thought, but you know what? It's fine. We'll just do an invasion CB. My court physician is worried about my newborn daughter. My court physician is my cousin. Fantastic. Usun Bike is a feeble little thing, even compared to other infants. My doctor says she might not live to see her first birthday. Treat her! Save her! I guess. I don't know. While well, little Usun Bike. Usun Bike. I should have named it, just named it a Unibike. Or Unicycle. Still appears slightly weaker than other children her age. I swear she's much more energetic than she was a couple weeks ago. She might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Fantastic. I guess. What? You've usurped a title from us? Fair enough. Is that really our nickname? We are Twerkules the Despoiler. Wow, that is so wildly appropriate. It's kind of amazing. I love it. We are Twerkules the Despoiler, whatever that means. I guess we unspoil things. I don't know. My concubine is pregnant. Fantastic. Please. Give us genius children. That's all I ask. Shouldn't be too much to ask for, right? It probably is. And as I mentioned before, um, I don't know if I'll go with uh, David McDowell's suggestion of having maximum clan numbers. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to keep, the, keep an eye on the number of um, clans here and see if this number increases. If it doesn't increase after we claim like a shit ton more land, then I might actually go with the suggestion of having just nine clans, so the max number of clans, and each of those clans just having one county each. They'll hate me, but I'll be supremely, so amazingly powerful that it won't matter whatsoever. We can actually raise personal levies? 11,000 personal levies. That's actually nothing to scoff at. Where the hell are they? They're nowhere. They're nowhere to be seen. So we don't have personal levies. Game, you lying sack of shit. Anyways, let's continue with the revocation. Oi, oi, oi. See, if I had more interesting anecdotes, this would be uh, where I would tell them. But right now, my mind's uh, kind of drawing a blank. So I can't really, you know, titillate you with uh, exciting stuff. But maybe? Hopefully. We'll see. Fantastic. That, those numbers look crazy. I'm so confused. Oh, okay, it's because uh, they're no longer our vassals and shit. Okay, I see. 
That makes sense. Kind of? How's our prestige doing? Are we losing a shit ton of prestige? Okay, don't care, alright? Don't bother me with that crap. Let's improve our writing contests. Fantastic. Uh, no, that's not the screen that I want. That's the screen that I want. Yay, we have to do this, like, 20 more times. I'm sure you guys won't get sick of this at all. Did I? Yeah, okay, good. I think part of it is that I don't remember which one I just clicked on. And they all have, like, very similar sounding, like, or they have names that I can't really remember. So, it's difficult for me to be like, oh yeah, I just revoked that guy's stuff. No, I can't remember that. My memory is absolute garbage. Fantastic. Come on, guys. Can you, can you guys just send a group letter, maybe? You know, instead of like each and every one of you just doing that. Let's have her... She's timid. I don't think Timid actually works for anything. No. Why would I ever want her to have a learning education? Why am- why can't I click on her? I don't know. Anyways, let's train her to be an entry character. I'm actually really excited about the uh, inheritance law changes. Should be really cool. Church built in Cairo. My wife is pregnant again. Fan oh, she has a headache. Oh no. Please, baby, no. Baby, no, please. Uh, it's may maybe your headache will go away if I just revoke a whole bunch of land from, you know, random people. Please tell me that works. I think I just revoked something from some Jewish dude. That's okay. It's he was collateral damage. He'll understand. He'll probably hate me still, but he'll understand. Yep, I'm definitely taking land away from Jewish dudes. Random Jewish mayors. Kinda of weird. I like it though. Okay, fantastic. Mustering grounds, don't care. Let's stomp out this uh, rebellion. Not that it's really gonna go anywhere, but you know. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about you. Or you. I should have made her not be ambitious. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Really? Are you- you're sieging down- okay, that wasn't a- never mind. I think it's just as, uh, horse lords, I don't have a lot of, uh, garrison. No. Okay, I see. That's just how it is. Cool. Um, what? After decades of providing the county with building materials, the scone quarry in... Ansira has been shut down as it no longer produces quality stone. What are you talking about? What is Ansira? What is... What are you... Huh? I'm lost. I don't know what... And apparently, blank. That's my response. It's just... Not even dot dot dot. I just stare at the guy blankly. That's my response. I love it. Okay, that's the end of that rebellion. Fantastic. Let's have you executed. It's been a while since we executed someone, so... Death by bear. I love it. We had a Jewish bear kill him. Bear was like... Wearing a... It's not a yamoka. It's... What's a Hebraic name for it? I forget. I know Bernard told me a while back, but... Again, I have shit memory. Let's celebrate Passover. Fantastic. Okay, you have other plans. Do you really... Does your plan involve, like, maybe... Having your shit revoked? Oh, yes. Kamaj. It's a shame you're not a genius. I was really hoping that you'd be a genius. But you know what? Hmm... In appreciation of David McDowell's uh, tools, or his pro tip, I almost said tool tip. No, it's not a tool tip that he gave me, no. In appreciation of David McDowell's tool, or, again, holy crap, I just said it's not a tool tip. 
And here I am saying it's a tooltip again. Good god, man. Slap that stupid out of your mouth. In appreciation of his pro tip, I will name him after David McDowell. But I'll just name him David. Which is actually a very appropriate Jewish name. I'm hoping for a genius son, please. So, yeah, now we can uh, declare war on him now that our troops are all ready. Once we um, absorb the rest of uh, Arabia, what we'll do is we'll set our sights on um, these tiny counties that just happen to gain independence during the um, crossover or whatever. So we're not going to make it a subjugation, no, we're going to do an invasion of Arabia. That should be good enough. Fantastic, we can call in our allies, let's do it. Not that it really matters, but, you know, it's fine. Split up our troops. And the other 8,000 go there. Fantastic. Next year in Jerusalem. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Nice Seder dinner. And they called in the Bektashi Order, I guess. I don't know what that entails. Cool, I guess. Hey, you do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. Can we intercept these guys? Probably not. July 25th. June. No, I can't intercept them. That is if my knowledge of months is correct. Yes, perfect. Although, if you catch me not remembering which month comes before which, please understand that I actually grew up in a country where um, our months aren't actually named. They're just numbered. So we have like month one, month two, month three. All the way up to month 12. In case that wasn't completely obvious. You have a new son. He's unfortunately not a genius. But that's okay. We will name you... Hmm. Owen, after our uh, commenter, Owen Kloon. Fantastic. Owen Blenid. My court physician is worried about my newborn son. Owen is a feeble little thing, even compared to other infants. My doctor says he might not live to see his first birthday. Save Owen! Churchtown. Don't care. And please don't be offended that I'm naming you after, like, non-genius children. Just I don't really have much of a choice. I don't get to control which ch children turn out to be geniuses and whatnot, so... It's not a comment on my perception of your intelligence. It's just, it is what it is. And apparently this uh, treatment of Owen was unsuccessful. His subdued cries send chills down my spine. It's unfortunate. And people are joining in the fight. I guess the Umayyads have decided to join in. Hopefully we'll get this war over before the Umayyads can actually get here. Not that it's really a concern to be perfectly honest with you. Get them all down there. They want to meet in there, and that should be more than enough some supply limit to meet our demands. 97%, 100%. Fantastic. And that's over before the Umayyads could come in. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Love the sight of it. I love it. What place has great supply limit? Oh, shit. Crusader Kings 2 doesn't have that um, supply limit map, which is really handy in, um, what's it, EU4. Alright, so let's just get them all back to Constantinople. You guys can go, I guess, there, I don't, here, 39,000, that seems like a pretty legitimately awesome place. And you guys can go, uh, 30,000, whatever. Just trying to, like, get you guys back together. Oh shit! Clans want more lands. And... What the hell is happening here? There's a Jerusalemite peasant revolt. Uh, you're Shia. You're revolting against a Shia. Oh, it's just a peasant revolt. It's not a religious revolt. Okay, I see. I get it. What lands? Shall we give away? Cherson? 
No. Let's give away this piece of crap. Novgorod Sev. If you live in Novgorod Sev, I apologize. I didn't mean to call your town, hometown, piece of crap. Not what I intended. You own land in Greece. I don't like that. You also own land in Greece. So the Bee Horde and the other guys. I wish I could see their, um, their flags. Because I'm much more of a visual person than I am a smart person or a thinking person. Not to imply that, okay, not to imply that visual people are not smart. But I'm not smart is what I'm trying to say. Why do these guys not like, they need more grazing lands? Okay, fine. You know what? I'll give you more grazing lands. How does that sound? Here, you can take Novgorod Sev. You can just find it. Way too many counties right now. It's insane. This is gonna take ages. Oh, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, wait, Montreal? It's because we renamed a county to Montreal, that's why. <laughs> ah. My own idiocy trips me off sometimes. Novgorod Sev, fantastic, good job. By complaining and bitching and moaning, you've earned yourself a new county. Good job. Actually, no, no, no. Don't go over there yet. No, no, we're going to go over here. And plan our takeover. Of these jerks' lands. Please avoid gaining any uh, attrition penalties, if you can. I'm not holding my breath. It's feuding between uh, Mayor and the Baron. Just do whatever, and I became an administrator. Plus three to stewardship. Absolutely unnecessary. Can I change it now? Nope, I still can't. When can I? Two years from now, okay, cool. Alright. How's our manpower building up? 616 per month. Not the best. That's okay. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Trinkitat is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Are we really? Same with Drews, apparently. Oh, it's because we haven't pillaged their um, lands into fine dust. That's why. It's because they actually have stuff where they can still tax things. <laughs> A famous writer proposes to uh, compose your family chronicles. Sure, do it. Anything to get me more um, prestige, I guess. Fantastic. Let's do some more title revocation in the meantime. Oy, oy, oy. I'm not even bothered. I'm not. I should be more careful and see that little check mark before I proceed. But I get careless. That's pretty much my downfall, isn't it? Anytime anything ever b bad ever happened to me in the Crusader Kings too, I think it's just out of carelessness. Fantastic. Not the carelessness, but you know. You know what? I think one stack should be more than enough to take care of. Um, this fool here. You have a ba daughter? Dilek? Sure. Sounds a little bit like a Dalek, but we'll allow it. Claim on Napata. Let's do it. Apparently their troops don't understand how to move properly. They're moving, they're swinging their arm, the same arm as... I, I can't explain it properly. They're not moving properly. This is not how you walk. See, when you put your left foot forward, you should move or swing your right arm forward. It should be like crisscross, right? But no, they're... Yeah, they're not moving right. And that's why they just got crushed. Because they couldn't even coordinate like they're walking or marching, I guess. Yeah. And we're actually going to siege everything down because you had the audacity to, um, try to seek independence. So, yep. Sorry, dude. And we can't. Can we imprison you? 
because of their different way of governance, none of your clans will object. Fantastic. Good job. Can we revoke now? No. We can't. We'll execute you though. For shits and giggles. And then we'll revoke it from your son. We are a cruel and vicious ruler. I love it. Fantastic. Let's get some more revocations going before we end this episode. Because we are currently out of time for the day. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Um, I know we don't have a lot of challenges facing us, but you know what? It's actually kind of refreshing to experience that side of uh, Crusader Kings too. Because... More often than not, like until you actually start to gain a little bit of traction and power, you're always scrambling for um, ways to survive and not get trampled by uh, neighboring realms. So it's actually, I'm finding it's actually very relaxing and kind of like, um, it's refreshing, like I said before, to kind of like experience this side of uh, Crusader Kings 2. We just get to basically plan out whatever we want to do and follow through with very little, um, I guess, roadblocks. But yeah, it's also, it's just exciting to see our, what was like a fractured realm turn into this giant monstrosity. And basically bring, okay, not yet, but we will get there. Basically, bringing Judaism back into the world. Where, you know, historically, the Jewish people have been, you know, uh, persecuted for far too long and whatnot. So, I'm not trying to get political here. I myself am not Jewish, so, I'm not, I don't have some kind of agenda to, you know, bring Judaism back and. Crusader Kings 2 and all that stuff. That's not my intention here. We're just here to have fun, so. Hope you guys can, uh, agree with me on that. At the very least. But yeah, we'll leave it off here and come back again. Actually, you know what? Let's hear, wait to hear back from our, uh, from our revokees before we end this episode. Just because I like to see that little, those bars turn red. It's got a nice little Christmassy thing here, you know, red and green. And is that it? I think that's it for that batch. Fantastic. The number's actually uh, dwindling, which is impressive. But then I look at this, and then I realize I have like 5 million more to go. So that's not quite as exciting. Anyways, we'll leave it off here for now and come back again in the next episode. So thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.